You can improve tons faster from home than on the range. Save yourself the bucket of balls. We're gonna dive in and do an amazing drill that's helped thousands of my students play the best golf of their life. Students have actually gone on to have incredible rounds and rack up tons of birdies just by doing this drill a few minutes a day. We're gonna work on getting some more power in your swing, some more consistency, all by training your body to move in a few simple ways. So we're gonna begin with one of the most important pieces of the swing, and that is engaging your body, eliminating thousands of swing thoughts. Let's just erase that right now by thinking one simple thing, elbows together. So when we get our elbows together, this creates structure in our swing. It allows all the pieces of the swing to happen by removing lots of the variables such as hands and arms. A swing that is powered by the body, meaning the shoulders here and the torso and the hips, those bigger muscle groups, is a lot more consistent than controlling your swing with, let's say, moving the hands and arms. We can move the club in any different direction. That means any different result. So to really engage the body, elbows together is your first step. Now, when you do elbows together, it's so important that you get your upper arms connected on top of your chest here, not off to the sides, not like we're doing some sort of T-Rex penguin thing. No, we get connected, but we get it more on the upper chest. So you see how my elbows are close together, like I'm squeezing a softball or a grapefruit right in there. What I feel is an incredible connection between the hands, the arms, and the shoulders. Now I feel the upper half of my body is in control of the swing. Just by getting my elbows together. You may notice that it feels a little bit rigid or stiffer in your arms. That is normal, especially if you're someone who's coming from short arms. So the first thing you really need to feel is like you're pushing away. Like you're pushing against the wall right there. So I push my arms straight out in front of me. Both arms are extended to straight. I really want you to get this feeling because this sets up the rest of your swing. Nothing else in this drill will work until you get this concept. So we have the elbows together, and then I've just got my right arm tucked in. So my forearm facing at the sky, and now I'm just going to get my hands clasped together. You may recall this from the episode I did recently with Tegan, beginner golfer. She did a phenomenal job. Elbows together was the thing that got her striping it immediately. Now all we need to think is left shoulder passing the chin for the back swing and right shoulder passing the chin for the down swing and something i want you to focus on while you're doing this is listen to how your body responds to these movements so i no longer want you restricting your body during the swing allow your body don't think restrict think allow where the body wants to go is where it should go so as i swing my left shoulder around my body I am feeling these hips wanting to get pulled around. I feel my right leg straightening. I feel my shoulder turn increasing as my right leg straightens. These are all things that are naturally built into your body. This is natural moves. We don't have to go to the gym to get this full shoulder turn. Elbows together allows this to happen. So backswing, we have hip turn being allowed. Downswing, we have, once again, right shoulder passing the chin. Hip turn is allowed to happen. So you don't have to think about when to turn your hips, how to fire your hips. All of these big questions, these many swing thoughts are eliminated just by elbows together and shoulders. Now tilt over towards the ground and do the same thing. Left shoulder under the chin. You notice once again, there's that right leg. Look at that straightening right there. You see space between your knees. Give me some of that space. And then downswing, right shoulder passing the chin. And look, you should see your belt buckle facing the target when you finish, and your shoulders as well are parallel, matching the wall, parallel to the wall. So that's your body working correctly in the golf swing. That will create a powerful golf swing. The next thing we're gonna do, and this is one of my favorites, we're going to eliminate any contact issues. So good contact happens when we have our left arm staying straight, our lead arm staying straight, and our head isn't moving off the ball. You've seen me talk about this on the channel tons of times. If we kept that left arm straight and we swung it back and through, and my head stayed in place, the club would always take a divot after the ball. 
So that gives us some certainty in this game of madness. So keeping our elbows together, which funny enough takes care of the left arm straight, I want us to keep our head in place throughout the swing. This is really going to amp up the way your body works. All you need for this is your noggin, a wall, and your elbows staying together. So set up with your head against the wall. When I make a swing, I don't want my head sliding on the wall. The first thing you will feel if you have head movement is an urge to move your head or slide it on this wall. You'll create friction, either it's up, down, side to side. In any case, if you're experiencing that kind of movement, you're going to have variable contact, things that slow down your swing, things that cost you distance and they cost you consistency. This is really gonna get you feeling your body now because if you were somebody who sways, you do the whole hip sway thing, you can't get away with it. Your head will move. So this is fixing a lot of things. Left shoulder under the chin. Now, when I keep my head in place, I really feel these hips having to turn. So my right knee straightens even more, keeping my head in place. And that allows for a bigger shoulder turn and I'm keeping my head in place. So power with the shoulder turn, consistency with the head in place. Downswing, it's the opposite. Right shoulder passing the chin, head staying on the wall. You might notice how the shoulders are the faster movers here. This is good because those shoulders are where that speed's gonna come from. The hips are enablers. The hips are accessories to murdering the golf ball. So look at the shoulders here. The faster I can get those shoulders through, the faster I will swing. Think about creating speed top down. It enables the hips to fire when you think about it this way. Shoulder, shoulder, and look at the hips. The hips, it's like I put WD-40 on them. They just boom right through there. Contact fixed, power increased. So head on the wall, elbows together. We're not stopping there. I want you to stay tuned for this next piece. It's the most important piece of the entire lesson. And when you get this, this is the score dropper. This is the thing that's gonna get you making more birdies. And it's going to put the power, the consistency, and the direction control all in one. In fact, it's the one thing that's going to fix your entire swing. You know, swing play, I'm swinging over the top. I'm too steep. I'm flipping at impact. My arms are pulling apart. All those things can be fixed with this right arm. Take a look at this. So my right arm, my elbow is pointing a little bit more outside of my body here. So the elbow is over right around here. Think about my th finger. Now I'm going to rotate my elbow to be under. This in turn gets the elbow pointing straight down at the ground. Look at what it does to the club. It shallows it. The arm is facing the sky and once again the palm is still facing the sky but I'm gripping the club. Now watch me add my tilt to the ground for the golf swing. Oh my, this is amazing. You ever think you Ben Hogan aficionados are gonna love this one. Look at that, that's the Hogan shallow position at the top. This is the position that is the most efficient way to hit a golf ball, bar none. If you're here, you can go right back to the ball. Look at that, it's direct. The club just goes right to it. There's no urge to go this way. There's no urge to throw your hands to do this and stand up. If you know how to move your shoulder, and let the arm hold this position, you will have fixed every single piece of your golf swing. That's what I talk about in the Segudo.golf online golf school. In fact, if you click the link below, go.segudo.golf, you can get my free mini course. It's an entire 17 video mini course, 45 minutes of content, showing you how to become a great ball striker. So, I've got the shaft shallow. What do I need to do? I move the shoulder. The right shoulder continues to move past my chin. Look, I'm not even thinking about the club here. We can think too much about what's going on here. When you realize that all of this is going to happen with some basic body movements, it is a weight that has been lifted off the shoulders. So arm tucked in, I add my tilt. I'm just gonna bring my right shoulder past my chin. Look at it staying shallow. I'm not even looking at the club. I know it's shallow because my arm, I know my arm is still in this position. It will never go steep. It never goes steep. Like if I'm starting on level, this what it looks like level. It's like a baseball player almost. When I add the tilt to the ground, it's the same. 
My right shoulder gets past the chin. My hips are responding by turning anyway. I'm not thinking about it. And to impact. I still have my, my relationship to the ground. I'm not standing up. Keep the right shoulder moving. Past impact. Boom. So you have just mastered power, contact, direction power contact with this shaft angle. This is the golden nugget. You know, where's the direction coming from? Where's the control? How do I hit straight? I'm going to start a setup like this. So I want the club face to return to this position. The key here is that it never changes. Keeping my elbows together, so my left shoulder under my chin. It's the same angle as I had here at address. And I'm swinging back into impact, same. Through impact, same. So no hand rotation required here. No assembly required. Now I'll do the same thing with tilt. Might get my front shoulder under my chin. I'm square at the top, I get into impact. If the right shoulder gets past my chin, boom, I'm square. It, it's controlled by the shoulder. Watch the shoulder. The shoulder moving towards the target is going to square you up. There's no need to do any of these sophisticated hand manipulations to hit the ball. And you're going to hit it a lot more powerfully than you would if you were trying to time your swing or turn your hands in the swing. I love to do this drill with my good friend, the Precision Impact Trainer, because it helps me keep my arm tucked in and it helps me feel what good impact needs to be like. If this angle is maintained, you will never flip ever again in the golf swing. Now I'm just gonna give it a couple clicks. This is really going to emphasize the feeling the arm needs to have throughout into impact. So this arm tucked in, the right shoulder pulls this around behind my neck, I feel like I'm throwing a baseball with my right arm, but my right arm is tucked in. So it feels like I'm, I'm doing like a, a frisbee throw with the right arm. Then I take my right shoulder to the top. And this precision impact is fully loaded and it's the same angle. Keep the back of your hand against that. If you don't have this device, you can still see the angle. Just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to take my right shoulder towards the target and what will happen is the magic of impact and squaring the face. So this is what it looks like level. Boom. Look at that level. This would be solid impact right there. Top. Your palm is 45 degrees to the sky. It's not pointing at the camera and it's definitely not over rotated. This is as much as I can rotate my arm so I'm not overextending it. Right shoulder moving towards the target. Come down to impact. My palm is now facing at the camera from this position or, aw at, or away from my body. This position is about 90 degrees away. Keep the right shoulder moving. That gets the hand now pointing at the target. So I am square. But I'm also creating great impact. Look at how that hand is still firmly against that pad. Precision impact forces me into good impact. I can't flip this. I, I, I'll try and flip, but it won't let me. Even after impact, you're still keeping this angle, which is a trait you see among the best ball strikers in the world. That means you're hitting powerfully like this through the ball instead of hitting like this. The difference between an amateur and a pro is that pros are hitting like this through the ball and amateurs are often spending time doing this, chopping down. Driver. This is where things tend to feel quite different. Same swing, but because the driver's longer, I don't have as much tilt to the ground, but what I'm going to do is I'm still going to do elbows together. So the club travels a little bit more around the body with the driver because it is longer. It's on a shallower, flatter angle to the ground. Irons are like this, drivers like this. So left shoulder under the chin. To the top. My hands are behind my right shoulder and I'm still in the same position as I was with that iron. And I start down. The club is behind my hands. Keep the right shoulder moving. Squared impact. Keep the right shoulder moving. Square on the way through. So it's the same swing, just a different angle to the ground. Different tilt because it is a longer club. These things will enable you to crush your irons and bomb your driver. You're definitely going to be hitting it longer. You're definitely going to be hitting it crispier. And your buddies in the cart are going to be so jealous of you for out driving them and wondering how you got this good this quickly. 
You tell them, it was just a five minute drill I did at home.